Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Live from E3. To my left, I have my friend Justin, and also I have Jens and Yerk from Machine Games. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. We have a lot to talk about because you guys are here showing off Wolfenstein 2, colon, the new Colossus, <laughs> which is just recently revealed. Uh, just right off the bat, tell me how it feels to have it out there now, and I, I hope you're riding high just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it feels very good to, to finally be able to show and talk about the game. It's... Uh, yeah, it feels amazing, yeah, it's and the response so far has been very good as well. Yeah, yeah you guys happy. really kind of just went crazy with it. Starting with this, what we're seeing right now, when this played during uh, Bethesda's show the other night, people were scratching their heads like, uh, what are we seeing right now? And eventually the robot comes in, you start to realize, oh, is this? Oh my goodness, it is, it's Wolfenstein, and people lost their minds. Yeah. People are really excited about this. How does that feel? Well, that was an amazing experience. It's uh, because, you know, being there and showing it to a crowd, it's, yeah, that was, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, so I didn't actually see this video yet, so oh, really? I'm just like watching it for the first time. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. So uh, yeah, we'll get to a little bit of a more Wolfenstein looking uh, uh, content shortly. Yes, yes. This was uh, a great way to start it off though. Yeah, of course. So, you know, I think I think it's safe to say that when you guys came out with the first, you know, reimagining and the reboot of Wolfenstein made a huge splash, not only for its storytelling, but for its gameplay. And lo and behold, you both can talk to those two very points, story <laughs> and gameplay. So what does Robert. Wolfenstein 2 do in those you know, categories that is really pushing the series forward? Well, we always had this dream of building a trilogy. So uh, this, this game is the first time we're doing a proper sequel ever. Yeah, so it's amazing for us and it's amazing to build, to be able to build on the ideas from that we seeded in the first, first game and, and sort of create a, a story out of that. So like uh, our main antagonist, for example, Frau Engel, uh, which we introduced in the in the New Order, and yeah. we, we set her up there. And yeah, we're, that, all I was of surprised to see her off. come back in this trailer. Why? Um, because of just how things happened in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, 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 things. <laughs> it looks very good. And here we see our hero, William, getting out of bed. Um, he's He's been out for a while. Yeah. How many push-ups do I need to do to, you know, get his physique? I just real quick, I want to know. <laughs> well, it's in pretty bad shape there. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the body, it's about the mind. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I appreciate that. He I does, appreciate he, that. William has a lot of will. Uh, he's a very willful person. And, that, uh, that's fair to say. And Justin, you are like kind of one of the biggest fans of the New Order, so I, I feel like you have high expectations. For, yeah, I was I was really Colossus. excited when uh, when the New Order was coming out. We saw we saw that really early, and you know I was an early uh, kind of champion of Wolfenstein: The New Order. I was telling people, keep your eye on this one; it's going to be good. Like there's all these shooters coming out, but this one, this Wolfenstein reboot, it looks really good. And then it came out, and it was you know released to rave reviews and everything, and ended up being just a fantastic game. How are you guys, uh, from a gameplay perspective now, how are you guys ratcheting it up? And how, are, are you trying to surpass what you did in, in Wolfenstein The New Order? Is that even possible? Yeah, I think so. I mean, for us, Wolfenstein is, you know, it is about heavy weapons and, and over-the-top combat. And I think for the new Colossus, we are dialing it up a bit, a, a, a lot, actually. Uh, of course, you know, we are doing a complete overhaul of the player, uh, all new weapons. Uh, we're adding a lot more upgrades, a lot more abilities, a lot more perks, everything like that. So, um, and also, just in terms of on how, how much freedom you will have as a player, uh, and uh, you know, in terms of how you move and perform combat, it's, uh, it's also a big step up. Mm. You are pretty much always in control in the new Colossus. You always can decide which approach you want to take in combat. And uh, yeah, I think we are. Yeah, it's a, it's a step up, for sure. Yeah, we, we've done a huge investment in terms of time and effort in the first-person experience. Yeah, so yeah. I think uh, just on a pure shooter level, it will be uh, something else. Uh, awesome. But of course, we, we don't even necessarily look at the game as a shooter. It's more of an action-adventure game. Yeah, it, it has oh, that's a, a good way to look at it. Uh, it has a huge amount of storytelling. Nice. And oh, I, think, I feel like you guys are stepping it up uh, on a personal level, level for our hero as well. He, we find out in the trailer that he's expecting twins. How is that? It, it, I mean, that feels like a really sticky 
kind of uh, relationship to navigate with someone who's running around and, you know, yeah. uh, fighting through hordes <laughs> of enemies and everything. How does that balance with that very intimate uh, idea of him having kids on the way? Yeah, I mean, we love those. those we, we love the juxtaposition of real world problems with just over the top insanity, right? <laughs> Uh, but I, I think the relationship between BJ and Anya, it's, it's, uh, it's growing stronger in this game. It's been, it's, it's, uh, it's been a fascinating experience to sort of map that out and create that drama. I think it's coming out better than I had hoped for. Well, that's good to hear. So, so gents, I've been told you really want to talk about performance capture and working with some of the people that are doing the story. Look, they're applauding me in the, in the background <laughs> for this. T tell me a little bit about what it's like for you as an individual and professional to interface, you know, not only with the actors that you have in the game, but also the team that's supporting them. Yeah, it's, it's an it's a amazing experience to be a part of because, of course, me and my writing partner told me we, we, we write the story uh, and it's one thing to sort of have it in your head, but then you go and actually record it. You cast all these amazing actors. Um, and then we have like we I think we shot 40 days of performance capture for this game. 40? Four yeah. zero days? <laughs> yeah, we, we have over 100 actors. I mean, it's it's a huge cast. It's it's a, it's a big undertaking. And I think the, the, the foundation of everything is Brian Bloom, who plays B.J. Blazkowicz, who is just so phenomenal and, and just, just is the backbone of everything. And then all of these super interesting characters uh, sort of cross circle, circle him in his little solar system. Yeah, I got to say, I'm really happy to see, uh, see BJ coming back. I mean, he's such a cool character. His voice is like just so fun to listen to, yeah. which I know is such a weird thing to say about a character, but I love when he talks. Yeah, and, and, and that's also, I mean, yeah, like I said, Brian Bloom is amazing. And, and when, we, when we cast, we do a vast amount of auditions. So we just casting for BJ, Back in the day, of course, well, I, I, I must have had like 200 auditions from different people. But Brian Bloom was just, you know, <laughs> as soon as I heard that, that was like, this is the guy. Does, Rockets does, to the top of the yeah. list. Does he look just like the <laughs> He just walks he into so the like... interview. He's just like, hi, guys. <laughs> I, I think he has BJ persona for sure. Oh, OK. <laughs> and and Yerk, I've been told that you wanted to talk something about stilts. So you must know what they're talking about. You, there's something you yeah, want to there say is to me, a, and I got to hear it. There is a scene in the trailer where you see the shadow of BJ walking on something else than his, own, than, than his legs. And those are the stills. Uh. The thing is, we have uh, in this game, a bit into the game, you can find these different contraptions, uh, which gives you a new ability. And those contra these contraptions are tied to a specific play style. So there is one for stealth, there is one for the tactical game uh, play, and also one for the mayhem game play. And the stilts are the tactical one, and it allows you to get up to higher grounds. And uh, yeah. it's, very, it's very fun to play. Uh, play. Also, you can use vertical covers, uh, which is super fun. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't call them stilts, we call them battle walker. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> we need cooler names than yeah. stilts. I mean, <laughs> stilts sounds <laughs> just as intimidating as... <laughs> on that note, though, we saw in the trailer, he also had this awesome, like, head shield. Yeah, what's, what's that about? Deal with that? The Palmer Army. You can see <laughs> that in the, in the new order as well, but then Caroline used it. Yeah, and that, that's, that's also something that's amazing, that we can introduce something there and pay it off in this. Yeah. Uh, so I think when the whole thing comes together, smashing. if we are lucky enough to but finish the, the trilogy, the Han, well, it'll be a very comprehensive experience to play everything from start to finish. Uh, but yeah, like Yag said, we have it. No uh, we supported this in the first game, and we and are supporting it uh, even more in this game, which is the, uh, the three play the styles of stealth, protector. sort of tactical gameplay, where you're taking cover a little bit more, or if you just want to go balls to the wall and just shoot everything <laughs> with dual wielding uh, auto machine guns and you can slide effortlessly in between these more nice. or less so and one of, yeah and on that topic one of the big things we're doing now for this game as well and and how we up one of the parts we're upping the shooting with is that you can now dual wield freely weapons in any combination uh, and this it's not only useful for useful for the the just guns blazing you can as an example you can have a silenced weapon in one hand and just a powerful you know, high fire rate weapon in the other as a, as a good backup, as an example. 
So, so we can we support you know basically all the pace styles in any which way you want to play, which is good. Cool. Beautiful. Well, I, I don't know. I think that's that's pretty much all I got, Justin. Unless you want to close this out. Uh, no, I mean this this game looks fantastic. I can't wait to play it. Have, have you guys? Are you talking about a release date yet? Mm -hmm. October 27th. Ooh, that's soon. How is this possible? <laughs> this year just continues on with all these amazing that's, games. That's crazy. How do you guys announce a game and then like nobody knew about it? It was a total surprise. And then like here, uh, it, by the way, it's out in October. That's impressive. Yeah, we don't want to let you wait for too long, you yeah. know? <laughs> well, I'm, I can't wait. Do you, do you guys have any parting messages to PlayStation gamers who I know appreciated uh, the first Wolfenstein that you guys worked on and well, looking forward to New Colossus? Of course, anyone who, who played the first game and enjoyed it, I think they will get even more out of this one. It's definitely the best thing we've ever done. Uh, but I, I, I also think that people who are into action-adventure games, not necessarily, you know, uh, uh, shooters, uh, per definition, but people who like like uh, Uncharted or Last yeah, of yeah, Us, yeah. those kinds of games, I think they w could get a lot out of our yeah, games. We, we sure look forward to hearing what people think. Uh, I, I really hope they will like it, and I think they will like it. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, uh, we so appreciate you guys being on the show. So, uh, Jens, Yurik, thank you guys so much for Machine Games. Justin, thank you for co-hosting with me. Uh, but of course, we have so much more coming up from PlayStation Live from E3 here in Los Angeles. Uh, pretty much. Uh, just going into another huge shooter. We have a lot to talk about today, but we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us. PlayStation.